Hello my friends, this is the video of my jammer, I use this in my lab, for testing the vulnerability of my project, understand me, this is not a jammer, for me. Is the radio frequencies generator, I'm not made this for malicious purpose, is just an instrument for my lab, damage other properties or disturb RF signal is illegal. For this project I use Arduino Pro Mini for the microcontroller, the transceiver CC1101 for generate the frequencies, this chip is very inexpensive and is possible to select the frequencies and the output power. The range of frequencies is 315 MHz to 340 MHz and 387 megahertz to 464 megahertz and 779 megahertz to 920 megahertz the output power is set by a register in the chip for this project i use selectable power of minus 6 decibel minus 3 decibel 0 decibel 5 decibel 7 decibel 10 decibel the maximum output power is 10 milliwatt for the frame i made a design in fusion 360 i use fusion 360 to create 3d objects and then go and print them with my 3d printer i use an ender 3 and for the upper part in plexiglass part i used a cheap chinese cnc which however it does a great job for small projects. I talk about this again in a next video, to show the changes I have made to a Chinese CNC, maybe it will be useful to someone. In this part of video I measure the output power, the power is not very precise due to a switch and the power loss in this system, but for my use is not very important, is possible set the register for adjust the power, for switch the antenna to another antenna I use 2 chip, is the switch chip HMC349, this chip have 1 input and 2 selectable output. The impedance of RF trace on the PCB is 50 ohm. I made much test for understand a coplanar wave and arrive at 50 ohm. I test this trace with odor PCB and I use the nano VNA for testing impedance and the return loss of the trace. I test in range of frequencies to 300 MHz to 900 MHz and I have an SWR of 1.04 to 1.06. Is not 50 ohm in the all range, but for me is good. I use JLC PCB for my board, is very inexpensive and the quality is very good for me. I'm not an expert, I grow up my experience anytime I create project and design a new PCB. The PCB I design for this project is not very good. I try to improve by watching YouTube videos of expert people explaining the various aspects of PCB design, I still make a lot of mistakes, but I learn by experimenting. PCB design is very complicated for me. The PCB show in this video is a 2 and 4 layer, for the board with the switch I use first layer for signal and ground. The second layer is for ground plane. Third layer is for power 3.3 volt. And last layer is for signal to switch the output RF. For the display and button PCB, I use four layer. The first layer is for signal. The second layer is for ground. Third layer is for power. And the last layer is for signal. And for Arduino and transceivers board I use two layer. The first layer is used for signal, power, and ground, and the second layer is used for signal and ground.
Thanks for watching the video. Share, like, and subscribe. Bye.